Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm John from Plaid and thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon for our Plaid New Product Showcase. Uh, I hope most of you know by now that we have been doing this each day this week and we will continue through the rest of the week. So um, we're going live twice a day here on the Facebook page talking about new products that we have for 2021. So I invite you to go to platonline.com slash new where you can learn about all of these products and you can also go back and see any of the sessions that you may have missed. We have them all archived there. So today we are going to be talking about Folk Art Sign Shop. It's a program that we have with Michaels. It is a great program and it makes sign making easy for anybody. It's a complete system that works together with stencil screens and pastes and tools that combine and work perfectly together to help turn you into a sign making expert, even if you don't know anything about it. So um, it's a lot of fun. I've got Kira here in the studio today. She's gonna be crafting and taking you through some, the, through the products and through, through some great projects. I've got uh, the chat here, so I will be able to pass along any questions that you have to her and Tamara will also be able to get in the chat and post links and that sort of thing. So please feel free to interact with us, ask us questions, we'd love to hear from you. So without further ado, I will turn it over to you, Kira. All right, thanks John. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I'm on the other side of the studio now, so I am gonna be showing you and telling you all about Folk Art Sign Shop. So home decor, signs, and personalization is just something that is just a must in homes right now. You know, from whether you're uh, buying and ordering it online or you're trying to like figure out how to personalize your space. So we thought, let's make a program that makes it so simple, so easy for you to create personalized decor, one-of-a-kind gifts. Um, it's great for celebrations. So we have put together Folk Art Sign Shop. And the real star, the hero of the program are the reusable mesh stencils. So these little guys are an amazing craft product supply to have. You know, sometimes stenciling can be a little intimidating and you know, you no matter sometimes how careful you are, you'll get a little bit of bleed over or um, it's not exactly where you want it. But using these reusable mesh stencil screens, it is seriously so simple, so easy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it. So they are adhesive, like I mentioned, um, which means that they, are, they have like a low tack stick on the back of them. So you can see here that they are sticky, they are reusable, and I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to wash them off. I have a bowl of water here. I'm literally gonna wash it and reuse it, and you're gonna still get that cream, still get that crisp, crisp, clean design every time you reuse them. So again, they have a ton of detail and that is something different that with a typical stencil, you have a lot of breaks or um, you can't get a lot of fine detail, but with these reusable mesh stencil screens, you can get so much detail and um, just so much personalization out of them, especially with the fonts. So we've got a ton of great fonts. Again, we have got multiple different sizes. Um, everything from smaller home decor to gift tags or to you can do large signs and you can see we have some on set here. Um, we have got phrases, so inspirational phrases and sayings, a lot of family things, welcome, a lot of things for your kitchen, your laundry room. Um, we've got a ton of alphabets, so you can really, really, truly personalize it. And because they're reusable and adhesive, you can put that stencil down, lay it out exactly where you want it, and then pull it up if it's not right. So it makes it really simple for you. Um, so those are the reusable mesh stencil screens. And again, I'm gonna open them, all these up, and I've got a ton of great surfaces here and give you a lot of great ideas and show you just how easy it is to use them. We also have created an acrylic stencil paste, and this has been formulated to work with reusable mesh stencil screens. It comes in a tube, it is an acrylic paste. Um, this is one of the first tube acrylics that we um, have, especially in this line. It was formulated to use with these stencil screens. So we've got a variety of different colors, and we've even made it one step easier for you to pick your color palette. We've put together seven different kits of colors for you. So we have everything from C side, which is your beautiful reds and your blues and black and white. We have classic blues, which blue is a huge home decor trend. We have florals and botanicals. So two different versions of just really beautiful palettes, especially with all the floral and 
um, the leaves and designs like that that we have. We also have a seasonal because again, sign making for seasonal, um, especially around the holidays and Christmas, this is a great um, color palette to have. So you've got your reds, your greens, and your golds, like a mustard color. And we also have lush greens. Again, just it's green is like almost like a neutral like navy now. So a lot of great options. And we have put together an essential kit. And this is really your basics, everything, you know, really your rainbow of whoop, rainbow of colors here. So again, we've made it really easy just to grab the packet, grab the color palette, and you can make any of these signs. So these come in a smaller acrylic tube. Um, so I'm gonna show you exactly how that works and how thick and creamy it is when it comes out. And because black and white is such an essential color um, for sign making, especially that whole farmhouse look and feel, um, we've done larger um, tubes of the black and white. So you could use this to even base coat your surface, but then you can also stencil with it. So that's great to have in the line, just the black and white basics. And John, if anybody has questions, I'm going to keep talking. Yeah, so no, absolutely. Me. I'll jump in. Uh, okay. I can tell you, everybody's excited to uh, to see this stuff. Great. And um, we've got folks from all over the country awesome. tuning in, and everyone's ready to go. It's a lot, but it's really exciting. Um, so along, so we've thought of everything. We've got the reusable mesh stencils. We have the beautiful acrylic stencil paste. Then we have tools for you guys. So we have a paste brush. We have a pack of squeegees, and these are plastic, and they are flexible, and they have straight edges and angles and three different sizes here. So these are great, whether large or small. Again, we really thought, like, if you want to do small home decor, you really want to do, like, a big sign as, like, a showcase, a showstopper in your house. And we also have a squeegee brush. Now this thing is a silicone squeegee brush. This is amazing for um, 3D objects and round surfaces. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, but it makes it really easy to get that acrylic paste right into the mesh stencil. So any of these tools are interchangeable also. I love all of them. I love um, using these squeegees, especially, oh, I can't pick them up with my nails on them, with nails on. I love these squeegees, um, again, for big, for large areas of color. You can get in the details, and then this squeegee brush is also great. And we have our paste brush, so all of these work great, and we're designed with the line. That's what we really thought about when creating this. Like, what do you need to be a sign maker? So, Kira, before you jump in, one of the questions that people have, are already asking, with these stencils and with these tools, can you also use regular folk art paint, like multi-surface? You could use regular paint, but mm -hmm. this paint was really designed because it's thicker and you need something with a little bit, has more thickness to it for this stencil screen. So I would re recommend using the acrylic stencil paste. Great. But you could absolutely do it. I would just test it out and make sure you have the right consistency. Um, okay, so also in this line we're gonna talk about is the erasable liquid chalk and the chalkboard paint. So we've got a multi-surface chalkboard paint, which is black and you can literally create your own chalkboards. And we have erasable liquid chalk. And I'm gonna show you, this is a really special product. So you can use this through the stencil mesh stencil screens. And then for example, if you wanna do a menu board. So we've used our chalkboard paint then we use the liquid um, erasable chalk to write menu with the stencil screen, and then this is regular chalk. But the difference is regular chalk is just gonna wipe off and smudge. The liquid erasable chalk, it's not gonna smudge unless you use water with it and rub it. So it's a great way to be able to change out your decor so you could change this menu and not have to worry about redoing the menu part every time. So this is great for parties, um, anything you're gonna be changing out a lot of, you know, a menu, a calendar. So for in your home, you know, in your, in your home office or in your entryway, if you have a calendar, you can create a calendar with the erasable chalk and then go ahead and just write in with chalk and be able to erase that and not worry about it coming off. But you could still change out certain aspects of it and change it up as needed. That's really great. It just yeah. has that beautiful, like, hand-drawn look, but yet yep. half of the, of the, the, the trouble that the it worry. would take to really yep. do it. Yep, so I'll get into that also once we start crafting. And we will talk, as a couple of folks have already asking, we will talk about sealing projects uh, yep. a little bit later once she has that. Well, but. no, so the acrylic stencil paste is... Um, 
recommended for indoor use only, but you can absolutely seal it with one of our great sealers. So if you want to put it outside, we were talking earlier about this also with some formulas. You can use Mod Podge Outdoor, which makes a great sealer for um, any of your projects. We also have the Folk Art um, acrylics or the Folk Art spray um, and sealer. So that is a great option. Also, that's an aerosol. You could use Mod Podge um, Ultra, which is a pump spray, which is also great for indoor outdoor. So a lot of options if you want to preserve your piece. And if you're, you know, decorating your patio or you're having an event outside, you want to make sure that it's protected. Just make sure that you put a sealer on it before you stick it outside. Great. Okay. So I'm going to start crafting. Um, I'm going to start making some signs. This is the fun part. All right. What are we starting with, Kira? Oh, okay. So <laughs> we're going to um, do this. So this is just, and again, we have a ton of surfaces and ideas. And if you go to platonline.com slash new, we have an amazing um, library of ideas and project inspiration and videos of exactly how to use all this product and different techniques. So, and I know Michael's also has a lot of inspiration on their site um, as well. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do this tag. It's just an oversized tag. And I have this really pretty, so again, beautiful sayings and, you know, inspirational things that you want to look at and you want to have in your house and personalize it and make you feel good about it. So we've got Love Grows here. Again, this is a, um, adhesive and reusable, so I'm just going to peel it back. It's really sturdy and you can see that mesh. So that's the difference. If you guys can see that overhead, that's the difference. A regular stencil, this is gonna be open, but this has a mesh and that's how you get all those fine, fine details. And you don't have to have any breaks. You know, in stencils, it'll look choppy and we call those breaks. With this, you don't have any of those and it just looks like hand lettering or that it's been printed on there, like silk screened on there. So I'm going to save this because you, um, after you rinse and dry your stencil, your mesh stencil screen, you want to put it on your backer to um, preserve it and keep it safe for next time. Okay, just start with a clean dry surface and then I'm going to stick this on. Again, it's repositionable so you can put it down. You don't have to get it exactly nope, right the first time. No, you can peel time. it up. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball this guy. And it's great that it has all the details. It's not just the messaging, just the lettering. It's mm -hmm. got all the, oh, the details along the side in one, beautiful. You yep. know, in one stencil. So it just makes it so much more convenient. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, there we go. Can you guys see now? I'm, I have a certain spot I'm allowed to work in for the overhead and I was going out. So you guys good now? You guys can all see? Okay. So I am going to go ahead and grab... Let's see, I've got the lush greens here open. So I'm going to use um, this green color. And I, so this is how it comes ooh, out of the tube. It is really thick. You guys can see how it stood up on its own. But it's really thick. So it's different than our regular folk art or folk art multi surface. It's really thick and beautiful colors. And it's very opaque, which is great. So it is one coat. Um, it's not transparent at all. You're going to get a really great coverage. Um, one swipe of your um, st acrylic stencil paste. So I'm going to just do a basic on this. Um, I am going to put, take the green and I am going to use the squeegee and I'm just going to use the middle size. You could use the large for this one, I guess, but I'm going to go middle size. I'm just more comfortable with it. And there's two ways you can do it. You can load your paint onto your acrylic, um, onto your reusable mesh stencil. So you can actually put the paint right on the stencil and then you take your squeegee and you can pull it down and you can see it's almost like spackle you're just pushing it right into that mesh screen mm -hmm. so you can apply it right to your stencil or you can load your squeegee and do the same thing. And you just want to pull down and make sure that you're filling in all the openings. And we've got someone asking how much is in the tube. So these are 12 milliliter tubes that Kara is working with and they cover about 250 square inches if you really. How many signs is that, John? Uh, well, I suppose <laughs> it depends on the size of the sign. But um, there's actually a larger size in a couple of the colors, I think like in the black and white, and those cover like up to 10 square feet. Yeah. So you, it really goes a long way because it's, you know, it is so thick and it's got such great coverage. You can see that little amount that she applied is covering this whole sign Yeah, here. you don't need a lot because you kind of just keep working it. 
Now it is so thick and you're putting it on so thin that it, it um, dries pretty quickly. So you wanna make sure that you're not, you know, letting it dry in between removing your stencil. So you gotta work, work at it. You can't just, you know, put it on and let it go. You gotta remove it right away. You just wanna cover all your spots. And again, what's so great about these tools is they're flexible and they're really easy to use. So I hope you guys can see that. So you can kind of see where the paint is going. It's a little bit darker. And you really don't need a lot of it, which is great. Jeannie is asking me to do metric to uh, imperial conversions here. So mm -hmm. I can't tell you exactly how many ounces that is. You're gonna have to look that up. But uh, you can see Aww. from the project that she's done here that the paint does go an awful guys, long way. Guys, look what I did. And right. yes, these do clean up with soap and water. They do so clean up with great. soap and water. So, okay, ignore that. That was, that was a me accident, not paying attention. Okay, you guys ready? So once you do that, then all you need to do is remove it. And you want to remove it while it's wet. So you guys, other than uh, a little boo-boo there. Can you see the detail and how sharp that was and how easy that is? I mean, that is crystal clear. It looks like it was screen printed on That there. is amazing. Yeah, so beautiful. That green is beautiful with the white. But again, how nice you put a big bow on that and you, if you hang it like on your door, that would be amazing. Great for spring, great for gift giving. Um, the great thing about this also is that you can reuse these stencils. All you do is wash them. And I have a bowl of water here. You wash them. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to dip this right here. He's a little bit big for my tiny little bowl, but I was running out of table space. So you can wash this out. You can have a bowl. So if you're using multiple stencils and you're kind of working, just have like a tray or a container of water. Because as long as you keep it wet, then you can go back and fully wash it off. Um, but all you need to do is wash this off, run it under you know, warm soapy water. And I don't even have soap in here, but this is gonna come completely clean. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna wipe it here. I had a tray. Oh, okay, totally good. I'm just gonna put it here and wipe this off. So you guys can see. So it's okay if that green is still on the stencil and I'm not even using soap, but you can see it's gonna come completely clean. And I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then I'm gonna stencil again and I'm gonna show you exactly how crisp and precise that you can get another multiple, multiple um, stencils out of it. Cause that's really important. I think too, um, you know, there's been such a, um, a surge and a, a new thing of people being makers and, um, you know, trying to find alternative things to do right now and sell their art and um, their decor that they're making and personalized thing. And this is a great product to buy um, if you wanna like produce more than one of something. So you could do um, a number of these signs with one stencil, a little bit of our acrylic stencil paste, and you could use them multiple times. So if you're a maker or you are, you know, a seller on, you know, something like Etsy or, you know, that, I think that's a great way to um, get these personalized signs and looks by using this product. Absolutely. Everybody is loving this so far. They can't believe how clean and, and so easy clean. that was. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going because that's the fun part. Yeah. Okay. So here's another example. Again, um, so I am going to wipe this off. And again, I'm just using baby wipes, but look, I mean, that comes off. These tools are so easy to clean. That's why I love these squeegees. Yep. And for those asking, yes, she's using the squeegee, but you can use a brush. You yep. could use a stencil brush. We have two or three different types of tools that Kira outlined at the beginning that all can be used to, to pull yeah, that Yeah, and I can right totally use, stencil. I'll use a different tool on this one because they're all interchangeable, which is so great. Okay, so I'm gonna do hot brewed coffee in red. So I'm gra grabbing another acrylic stencil paste. Creative Kira makes it look so easy. <laughs> oh, this a, is a, orange. A new nickname, Surprise. Creative Kira. Okay, so I'm gonna use orange for coffee. That works. Okay, so again, I'm gonna grab my reusable mesh stencil screen. I'm gonna peel him off. I'm gonna put him right on the side and you know, Stores right now have so many great services like this. Like we purchased this, it has these great wood beads on it. So there's so many things that you can do with these surfaces that are available now. You could also um, take an old sign or old piece of art and paint it. You know, we've got the big tubes of the black and white and then stencil right on top of it. All right, so I'm going to place him down. Again, these are adhesive and repositionable and reusable. So you can move it around. 
again, I want you guys to see this. So I'm gonna rub him on there. And we've got a couple of folks asking about the surfaces you're using too. So Plaid does have a great collection of wood surfaces. We do. Um, and, and amazing surfaces that you can find at Michael's, even if they're not necessarily part of the sign shop program per se. Um, I would definitely check out Michael's to see what they've got yeah. to go along with this. Yeah, a lot of these are from there for sure. They've got some great unfinished surfaces. Okay, so I am going to use the squeegee brush. So again, this is a silicone squeegee brush. I am going to load my brush. Again, you could place the paste right onto the stencil or you could load your brush. And I am going to quickly, I mean, you guys, this is pretty quick. Like I'm trying to slow down because I'm talking and you can see I made a mess of the green while I was talking and painting at the same time. Okay, easy peasy, and I'm gonna pull this off. Ta-da! And again, we're gonna rinse him off and reuse him. So you guys can see, hot brewed coffee. So again, you could trim him out. You could use a stencil paste if you wanted to take another color. Again, it's so thick and creamy, it's really great to use on all these surfaces. That detail is so awesome. The yeah. little hot brewed, how it's just so clean. Yeah, you know? so easy. Okay, I'm gonna keep stenciling. So um, another thing that you can do is stencil on um, 3D or round objects. So again, these are really cute um, little florals. They're smaller. I'm gonna peel him off. Donna had a great question. Yeah, these these tools that are mm -hmm. for this program would also be great for like glitterific, you know, like the, the uh, silicone squeegees are ideal yeah. for moving some things yep. around. Yep, uh, absolutely. Okay, so you could even trim these out if you have scissors. So this is one piece, but you could trim these if it's easier to work with. So if you just wanted the to and from, or you just wanted the flower, you could trim these and position them exactly where you are. This is just how it comes out of the package. So I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to do right onto the pot here. And I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna line him up. Oh, here, I got some scissors now, perfect. So here, what you can do is you can trim these, and you can see there's a line so it shows you where to trim them. So this makes it really easy to get exactly the design exactly where you need it. So I'm gonna place them down on this pot. And again, because they are sticky, they're adhesive and repositional, repositional, and they're really soft, it's easy for round surfaces. So I'm gonna place them back on my backer paper here. And then I am going to grab this blue. So, while you're getting that ready, Judy yeah. wanted to know about the largest size we have. So this program does also come with a large 18 by six in addition to the uh, nine by six. So there are a bunch of different designs in that size as well for, for larger signs and there's alphabets and so on. Awesome. Okay, I wanted some pink here, so I'm gonna grab this pink. So this is pink, again, really thick and creamy. You can see how that comes right out of the tube. And I am going to wipe my um, silicone brush off. And again, I like the silicone brush when I'm working with um, like a curved 3D object. And so I'm gonna use the um, angled one here. And again, I'm going to load. And I'm just gonna put it right on the stencil. So again, so easy to work with. You don't have to worry about this acrylic stencil paste running, and that's why another reason it was formulated to work with this program, it's not gonna run or bleed under that silk screen. Mm -hmm. So again, if you can see that, can you guys see? It's probably not the best color I picked, but can you see um, the detail in that? So it's really beautiful. And then what you would do is you would just place this again, and you can reuse it so you could rinse it off let it dry, and then you can just apply, and it dries so quick, you can even hit it with a hair dryer to dry it, and then you would just place it down again. And then you would just keep going all around your pot. So, great for 3D objects. Again, if you are gonna place this outside, the acrylic stencil paste just needs to be sealed with a Mod Podge Outdoor, Mod Podge Ultra, or a Folk Art Spray Sealer. So lots of good options to seal this paint.
Sure. We've had some folks asking about using different colors at once. You yes. Know, like whether you can yep. blend them or absolutely. Okay, uh, so do I'm different gonna... letters in different colors, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's do that. Okay, so here's an example of something that we've done. Um, so this was an example that we did, and you can see. So this was one stencil, and you have um, the different colors. So you can use a different color per word. And then this one, we kind of did like an ombre rainbow. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let me grab a surface for that. And I'm going to open up this. Um, this one says, create your own magic is one of the sayings in here. And again, the sayings, the alphabets are amazing. Um, just so much different typography that you can personalize. This is that example that I showed you. I can go ahead and do that one too. Inspire, dream, be yourself, create, um, imagine. So I can do him for you. Um, let me grab a surface. Oh, Jesse's going to grab me a surface. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it on this cute little tote bag here while we're waiting. Um, this is just a little gift bag. And again, you can layer these, which is amazing because we've got all these patterns. You can layer them in your projects. So I'm going to do this gift bag. I'm actually going to go down here and do this gift bag. So you start with the base design and then come on over the top. Of yep, and else. layer it. So that's a way to do different colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this green since I have it out. That's cool. Yeah. So for those just joining, this is the Folk Art Sign Shop. Yeah. Program. It's a it's a complete program of of stencils and and paint and tools that are designed to help you make. Uh, sign making projects. Absolutely. Okay, so I just added a little bit more of my acrylic stencil paste. And I'm just going to go, you can go side to side or up or down. You want to just make sure you're filling in all those mesh stencil um, openings because that's where the paint is going to go. So. I'm not going to do this whole bag for the sun, um, for time's sake. You can see, and I'm just using baby wipes to wipe my hands. It's a great thing to have on hand while you're crafting. And so you can see you can get a super crisp line, and I just kind of stop there. So don't think that's what the stencil is, um, but just kind of stop there because I want to show you guys how you can layer. So um, I'm just going to hit this with a hair dryer real quick, John. Sure, no problem. So Jeannie, just while she's doing that, to answer your question, the stencils are available as 9x6 and also in 18x6. So there's two different um, sizes there, and I would encourage you to check out platonline.com to see the full yep. selection. And of course, all of these are available at Michael's. So yep. go to your Michael's store or michaels.com to check out what they have as well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then, so say you have a pattern, then what you can do is you can take another stencil and layer right on top. So for example, um, I have this Love Grows here, so it's dry, so it's still tacky. This is the one that I used um, in the beginning. Can you hand me that? So this is the one that I used, and we got this really beautiful, crisp design. Again, I just rinsed it off, let it dry while we were talking, and then what you can do is you can layer it, stick it right down, and I'm gonna take this pink, and I'm gonna fill in just the word love. And again, these tools make it really easy just to get the paint where you want to. So you don't have to do the whole stencil. I feel like sometimes when you put a stencil down, you have to um, use it all over the design. But this one you can really use bits and pieces and really create one of a kind um, pieces of decor and art. And I'm gonna wipe off my excess. And these come in a number of fonts as well for individual letters. So if yep. you want to put your own name or something like that. So can you guys see? Down, down, down. Okay. I keep getting told not to hold it up. I keep wanting to hold it up. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so if you guys can see that detail, you can see that um, we did the screen layer and then we took the word love and how crisp and clean that is. And that was really quick. So you could do cards, you could do gift bags, you could do all kinds of different packaging and gift wrap, especially for holidays or special occasions. This is really great. Great for kids, great for weddings, great for baby showers, lots of fun things that you can do. 
Okay, so I am going to go ahead and show you how to do multiple colors. So I just have a piece of um, wood here and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can do multiple colors on one stencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this um, inspire, dream, be yourself, create, imagine. And so again, I'm gonna peel this guy off. I'm gonna save that for later. And I'm gonna position him down. Okay, so what you wanna do is we're gonna use green, and I am gonna open, I'm just gonna grab green out of here. I've got all the paints open over here to use. So I'm gonna use this bright green clear space, and I've just got some palette paper here um, to use. So you can use anything that you typically use with the paint. Um, palette paper is great if you have paper plates, any of that works. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. Again, I'm just using baby wipes and you can see how fast and easy this stuff wipes up, which is great. People are absolutely loving this program. They awesome. Just, it's yeah. really exciting. And, um, you know, again, all the things you can do, all the home decor pieces you can do. Um, so you can see whether it's like tonal that you're doing just on that raw natural wood with the white and the black. Um, John, the sign behind you, that amazing piece of palette um, that says Welcome Jones and Company. Mm. Like there's so many beautiful things you can do. Okay, so I've put down my stencil, then I'm gonna take all my colors. So I am gonna be using a bright green. You can see how thick that is. I've got purple. Let me make sure I have enough purple. Blue. That orange that I used earlier. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some yellow also. And these colors are really great. They're all so beautiful, all curated for these signs. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Inspire in green. So again, these tools make it really easy that you can change out your colors as needed and as you want. So you don't need to do the whole stencil or all the words together. Um, because it's so easy that you can just change your colors out as you want. So I'm just gonna get my excess off there. Okay. Then purple, and I'm just switching between tools. This also shows you how interchangeable these are and how great they are to have on hand, whether it's the brush or the squeegee or the squeegee brush. You know, and really that back and forth, that's just a habit from painting, but if you go up or down or side to side, you'll feel that it doesn't pull or drag as much. So that's a, a great tip when you're stenciling. So these, um, these colors are available in sets, folks. Mm -hmm. People were asking about individual tubes. At this time, you really want to, you know, you've either got the, the, the large 10-piece set that has the classic colors, or we've got these great curated sets for you to help you pick yep. coordinating colors for your signs. Absolutely. And the black and white come in the larger tubes. That's though. true. The black so and white are, are available. For base coating separately. And you can see how easy this goes on. You don't need a lot. And I am just wiping my brush in between colors, so super easy, easy cleanup. And how fast you could do it. You can stencil on round surfaces. So if you wanted to stencil on a tumbler or like a flower pot, like we showed, like a lot of great things that you can stencil on. Okay. These colors are blendable, yes. Someone was asking if you can blend them together to make custom yep. colors, and the answer is yes, you can yep. do that. Okay, so to get this ombre, you're gonna need to take the same colors, and we are going to line them up just like this example here, if you guys can see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my orange first. And we're gonna actually, like I said, put the paint right on to the top of the stencil, or the stop of the top of the word that we're gonna be pulling down. And you can kind of eyeball, again, I'm going off the example we have, but we're gonna pull this down and wipe it through the mesh stencil. So I've got my green. I'm 
I go blue. Any questions, John? Well, people are actually, somebody was just saying, can you show us the ombre technique? So we're yeah. getting ready to see it right now. <laughs> I'm doing it. Absolutely. Oh, our friends from uh, Rainbow Hunt, 518 Rainbow Hunt. Are oh, in the hey house guys. This hey, what the perfect you. project. Right? I am making a rainbow sign. Mm -hmm. We'll have to post this. Okay. So again, I love these colors. They're really bright, but we've got bright colors. We've got home decor. There really is a great variety of colors. Okay, so I am going to now take, I'm gonna use the squeegee. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to pull down, and I'm gonna use the little one just so I have a little bit more control. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down And I'm going to use my baby wipe and I'm going to just keep wiping as I go. And because it's an ombre, you want the colors to blend. Remember? So you want to make sure that blue and that green blend together. And it's almost like a tie-dye effect. So you can scrape in your blue. Mm -hmm. And for someone who is asking, yes, you could, you can definitely protect the edges of your surface with like painter's tape and that sort of thing. Absolutely. If you want to be yep. careful about not going off the edge of the stencil. Yes. And you don't need though, because these stencils are adhesive, you don't need to tape them down. Okay. So then for the reveal, and again, you're going to wash this off and you're going to reuse it. So you guys can see exactly how crisp and clean you're getting them. So you guys can see, we just redid that. But so you can go multiple colors and then you can do an ombre. Very cool. So again, a ton of detail and design. So do we have time for, we'll do another one and then we'll talk about chalk? Sure. Okay. We've got so plenty of time. So I'm gonna grab, so I'm gonna show you guys just another example that we did here. So this is um, using the Seaside um, palette that we have. So we have got the Seaside, which is the beautiful blues and the reds and the whites. And again, this is a beautiful stencil. It's um, just ocean themed and it is, you know, again, great for decor, but this was a project that we made on just a palette box. So a really great example. And you can see all that detail, like in that coral, that is beautiful. That would, you would not be able to get that with a typical regular stencil. So you can get a ton of detail. So that's a great example of a project. We also can do it, like I mentioned, on 3D items. So this is just a decorative wood box and you can put a plant in it and we just did home in blue. So again, we did the dark blue and then we did a really pretty ombre of the different shades of blue. And this would be great. You could do smaller, you can do a larger scale. We actually have it in green on this side. Um, but you could do the green. Again, just another great option. So these are our lush greens and this is our, um, our blues. So we've got our classic blues. But again, you could do the small for indoor, you could do a large outdoor scale and just protect it and you'd have a great planter. This would also be great to do if you wanna do your house numbers. So, you know, if you wanna put it on your porch, you know, just a great thing to do. Um, a great way, you could use these even on your mailbox if you wanted to, as long as you protected it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do this guy. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna do him instead. And quite a few folks have been asking about whether it's, you know, multi-surface. And the answer is yes. You can use it on a variety of surfaces. You know. A variety of surfaces. But if you're going to put it outdoor, you want to make sure that you protect it and you seal it. So right. it is not multi-surface in that aspect, but it is multiple surfaces that you can use it on. Okay, and so you definitely, gonna... if you want to put it on something like glass or something like that, you would have to seal that if you intend to, you know, hand wash it. Yeah, absolutely. For decorative purposes, though, it would be fine. Yeah. Okay. So I have a lot of stuff on this table here. Okay, so I am gonna show you, um, you know, we were talking about all the phrases and the letters and the words. So there are some great, this one says family, gather home, let's stay together. So I'm just gonna trim this out. And again, this is really easy. They have line, if I can't even cut a straight line, they have lines on here that makes it really simple for you to trim these out. So they've almost put like little guards or guides on there for you. I'm going to trim that. 
And then I'm going to do three words on here. So I'm going to peel these off. Again, save him so you can store your stencils once they're dry. And I'm going to do family. You know, I am going to not stencil right in that crease. I'm going to do family. I'm going to do gather and then home. Any questions, John? Uh, no, everybody is really impressed, though, with how easy this is. It so. is so easy. Like I said, sometimes stencils can be intimidating. I mean, we do them a lot on videos and on lives, and you're like, mm, I don't know, is it going to yeah. work? Um, and this is so easy and foolproof. So uh, Barbara was asking for, for outside use. So there are um, like spray sealers, for example, spray acrylic sealers that are uh -huh. designed to protect things that go outdoors. You could even use, you know, yeah. like a Mod Podge Ultra. You, there's a number of different of sealers that you can use in order to do that. Yep. So again, look, I mean, in a regular stencil also, you would not get the detail. You can see how thin those lines are, and that's going to actually work with this because it's the reusable mesh stencil screens. And what's nice about these too is you can just see, I mean, Kira is picking these up, moving them around. Oh, and, yeah, um, for sure. You know, you're able to customize the, the design the way that you want it, mm -hmm. but yet you don't have to place into each individual letter. So Absolutely. it's really. Absolutely. Yeah, Handy. and so again, um, this acrylic stencil paste comes in black and white in the larger tubes. Again, it's the same that's in the tiny, smaller tubes. And, um, but we have put together in these smaller tubes an amazing set of color palettes. So we have seven different color palettes for you. Everything's from greens to blues to your essentials. So this is the same acrylic paste. We just have um, large and small sizes of the black and white. So I'm just using a little, and a little bit goes a long way. So I am going to do family and white. And again, just barnwood signs are still a huge trend. So I think just that basic black and white, um, it's, you can't go wrong with that, right? It's going to match, especially if you're doing a gift um, or something personal for someone, like a personalized sign. You know you're going to be, um, you're going to be good with black or white. Absolutely. This is be a this is a great project that you can get together and and do with your family or yeah. you know do with your friends. Absolutely. And, um, yeah. Totally have a Zoom sign making party. That's right. That's right. Safety I know craft that. Uh, together. Yeah. Um, you know, going to those sign making places and so on like that. I mean, that was a you know a huge trend. But now that everyone is at home and right. you know you can. Um, safely get these products delivered right to you and, and right. do this right at home. Well, and like I was saying, just that whole movement of makers and people making things and selling them and finding alternative, um, you know, whether it's just to pass the time and be safe at home or you're looking to start, you know, your new side hustle. Um, yeah. This is a great product if you want to get into sign making because, again, it looks so professional. It looks like you bought it like that. Mm -hmm. And again, Michaels and um, Plaid, we have so many great surfaces. Okay. So again, I'm gonna wash this so I can reuse them. And again, they just wash off in warm soapy water and then you dry them and save them for next time. But you can see, and I'm not gonna hold it up this time so I don't get yelled at. <laughs> um, I keep holding everything up for you guys to see and everyone's like, put it down. Um, but you guys can see, look at the detail. Can, I mean, that is amazing for a stencil, that looks hand lettered silk screen like it was printed on there. So regular stencils you are not going to get that and I did this on purpose. You, I even went over the crease in here and you can see so if you have a palette or um, something with texture it's not going to even like skip a beat. You're still going to get that crisp line. It's not going to move around because it's adhesive. So I mean that is just such beautiful detail and so easy. While I sat here and talked to you with a room full of people on camera, was able to get that kind of detail and that kind of precision. So and it is so fast. Sign making made easy for everybody. Yeah, I mean in, yeah. in the short time we've been doing this, I mean Kira's made what four or five projects, yeah. and we've just been at this. Oh, and for... it's endless what you can make. I mean, you guys, the designs are so beautiful. Um, you know, these are just beautiful borders that we have. So you could do a border and then you could take um, an initial and a monogram and, you know, pop it right inside there. So again, for weddings, for showers, for a baby's room, um, anniversary gifts, birthdays, so many different things. We've thought of beautiful sayings.
thing so you don't even have to be creative and you can just grab Love Grows Here and pop it on your patio. Um, again, the welcome signs. Um, you know, you walk into someone's home and you have this beautiful sign that's personalized. It is just mm -hmm. a great touch to any decor and great for gift giving. We should note that those nine by six stencils are two packs. So when each of the, yes. there's 32 different ones to choose from and each mm -hmm. one has two different yeah. coordinating um, pieces to it. So um, again, for those who are just joining or even if you just need a reminder, uh, check out platonline.com slash new and you can see all about this program. The uh, Folk Art Sign Shop program is what we're talking about yep. and it is a Michael's exclusive program. So you can go and actually buy it from them. But if you want some more information, please feel free to check out yeah, our website. Absolutely. And Michael's has a ton of great surfaces. Again, all these surfaces, there's so many different things you have that you can make with their unfinished um, wood surfaces. You know, I know they've got a lot of great whitewash. They've got barn wood. They have just raw wood that you can paint. Um, so a lot of great options. And whether it's a 3D item, like, we, like I showed you, you could do a flower pot. And again, look at the detail on that. So it doesn't have to just be a flat piece of wood. Like you can do it on objects and things. And because they're flexible, they're reusable, they're adhesive, you can really wrap it around that project. Okay, I'm gonna talk about chalkboard real quick. I'm just gonna clean up. And again, look how easily, I love these tools because they just clean up so easily. Yeah, and I'm the fact that you wipes. can just rinse these stencils off, put yep. them right back on their backing again. Absolutely, yeah. It really becomes super affordable if you think about the fact that you can just use these again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Um, you could make, um, you know, gifts or you could, yeah. as Kira mentioned, um, even if you have a little Etsy shop or something like that, oh, yeah. just a great opportunity to, um, you know, to explore and have fun with, uh -huh. these, with this program. Yeah, yeah. So this is a big guy here. Um, okay, so the, I'm going to switch gears now. I'm going to still be using the stencils, but I'm going to talk about, instead of the acrylic stencil paste, I'm going to be using um, our chalkboard paint and erasable liquid chalk. So chalkboard paint means that you can paint a surface and it turns it into chalkboard for you. So what we did is this is a great way to upcycle also. So this is an old frame we painted. Then what we did was we cut a piece of um, uh, cardstock or cardboard or a piece of thin wood and we painted it with our chalkboard paint, our multi-surface chalkboard paint, and we literally turned it into a chalkboard. So I'm going to erase right here just with my finger, but you can see that smudges. So you can turn any surface into a chalkboard. So again, whether it's home decor, it's for a party, it is for um, decoration, a countdown. This is a family rule, so you can, um, you can create this and really personalize for your space. I love the erasable liquid chalk because what you can do is you can, I'm gonna grab a wipe here. So chalk is just gonna smudge and you can erase it. So chalk is what you wanna use when you're like, hey, I'm gonna switch this out weekly, but I want all this other stuff to stay, right? So this isn't gonna smudge. So dry, not gonna smudge. This is the dry, this is the liquid erasable chalk. But, so say, okay, we're not doing family rules anymore, right? Okay, I don't know who's not doing that, but we're not doing family rules and we wanna make this a menu board now. All you need to do then is erase with um, a wet towel and it's gonna come off. So you can completely remove the erasable liquid chalk and then the chalk from the chalkboard. So a lot of great options. So basically it's permanent until you don't want it to be permanent right. anymore. Correct, so you're gonna have your um, consistent, so example, a menu, this is a great example. So we painted this wood plaque, it was just a basic wood plaque with our multi-surface chalkboard paint. Then we used our stencils, our reusable mesh stencils, and we used our liquid erasable chalk and we stenciled the word menu. So that's gonna be our constant until we're done. That's gonna stay. Then all we did was take chalk and wrote um, pancakes, bacon, and orange juice. But then that goes away and this doesn't go away. So great options to have. So I'm gonna show you how easy this works through the stencils. So again, you're gonna get that same detail like we were doing before. And of um, course we have stencils specifically designed for this with things like a menu and a calendar, yep, uh, yep. you know, et cetera. Yeah, so this is just an easel. Painted with the um, painted the front and the back with the multi-surface chalkboard paint. Again, super easy. Um, it's I just want to show you guys. It's again thick. It's creamy. It brushes right on. Um, I'm going to use this little guy to show you guys how easy. Again, just another great surface. And you can see that's one coat. And once that dries, that is going to be a chalkboard, and you can literally write with chalk on it. 
Another little tip too, if you have not ever used chalkboard paint before or any kind of chalkboard, you wanna condition your surface. So if you don't know what that means, um, if you just use a brand new chalkboard or chalkboard paint and you just take chalk and you write on it, then if you go to erase that, it's gonna leave a mark on your chalkboard. But if you condition it, erase it, it's going to not leave that mark. Does that make sense? So if I wrote the word hello on this brand new painted chalkboard um, paint or chalkboard that I purchase, and if I write the word hello, anytime I erase it, you're gonna still see a faint line. And I know that's really frustrating for people. And if you know what kind of um, priming or you know prepping your uh, chalkboard means, so you want to take a piece of chalk on the side and you wanna rub it and cover the entire chalkboard. And then just wipe that off and then you can go ahead and write on it and it's not gonna leave those marks. So that's just a little tip if you've never used chalkboard And that chalkboard actually goes before. for a regular chalkboard as well. Right, that's like what I'm if saying. You, if you just have just a chalkboard, yeah. So if, if say you're not, you know, you have a chalkboard, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna grab that erasable liquid chalk and our reusable mesh stencils, make sure you prime your chalkboard first so you're not gonna ruin that because you don't want the word like uh, spaghetti on your menu forever, right? You wanna be able to erase that. But so if you go ahead and prime your chalkboard, that's gonna save you from doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you again, menu. So again, this is one of the stencils that we have. We've got a calendar set, which has the months. Um, it's got little designs that have holidays on it. This is a great menu. So you've got breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, dessert, drinks, menu, and it's got the days of the week. So again, this is fun if you're having a little brunch party or you know, you're just trying to be more organized at home and do some meal planning. People are cooking more, so make it fun. If you're not going out to eat, you might as well make it feel special. So I'm just gonna trim this. Okay. Again, works the same way. I'm gonna position him. Again, he is just one of our reusable mesh stencils. And again, just the variety of designs. So if nothing else, go to platonline.com slash new on, and michaels.com. Just check out all the beautiful sayings and inspiration and the phrases. Like you guys will be amazed at what we've put together. And again, the alphabets, you can really personalize things. So I've got my menu on there. And then I'm gonna use my um, Sign Shop Erasable Liquid Chalk Paint. And then I'm gonna use my squeegee again, because I love him. I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna load. And again, just like we were doing with our acrylic stencil paste, you're gonna do the same technique. How quick is that? Done. Absolutely amazing how fast and easy it is. Boom, so there you go. So now you have a menu, and then again, you can rinse this off. So next time you wanna create a menu, and then this is gonna dry, and that is gonna be on there until you're ready for it not to be. And then you could just go ahead and write, um, I have terrible handwriting, you guys. So you guys can absolutely just write on here and then erase him. You could go ahead and add your days of the week down the side, which I love, or if you wanna do your breakfast, brunch, and lunch. So say you wanted to do that. So you could cut these and leave them and have the spacing as is, or you could trim it and do your own spacing. So you really can personalize it. And the level of detail is just incredible. It is with these amazing. these little fine letters. Yep, especially with letters and words and saying, and again, I'm just showing you guys here, like this is just inspiration. Don't make yours look like this, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do breakfast, lunch, and brunch right in the middle. Okay, so I am just gonna take, and I'm gonna use um, my smaller squeegee, and again, not a ton of paint. I'm just gonna do, this is like one swipe across. Just wanna make sure you get it in all the little holes. There we go. 
this is a great example of using that really detailed squeegee that comes with the set. Yep, you can see why absolutely. she used such a small one to help yeah. with the control. So I love that. So again, you can personalize your home decor. We've got a lot of great examples of exactly how you can do this. You know, again, weddings, for parties, for birthdays, um, for kids, for first days of school, um, you know, like those mini milestones and celebrations. That's a great thing to use and have in your house. So, does anybody have any more questions? No, I don't think so. Can I Everyone show you guys is enough? absolutely guys, it's loving amazing. This you can do this. You can make all these projects, all these signs. I'm trying to look for something. Um, we did some seasonal. We did like this fun, um, some bunny loves you. Again, we're getting ready for Easter here. Just so much detail, so much personalization. Another family rules. I love this. As you can see, you could just use a bunch of different fonts together. Beautiful color palettes with the acrylic stencil paste, the tools, everything was made to work for you and make it really simple and easy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think that's it. I think I so. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed. Thanks for letting me craft with you and spend the afternoon with everybody. We'll be back tomorrow. We have um, some new folk art products and Bucilla. Kirsten will be here tomorrow. Um, I'll be back. And then tomorrow we have Let's Paint. So we've got Andy Jones, Donna Dewberry, Jesse is going to be here. Um, we are going to be talking about just tons and tons of painting and giving you guys some great information about our free online education program. Make sure, John, I don't know if you mentioned, um, to go to YouTube and check out all the videos that we have that go along with our new product showcase, but also all these videos that we have show you more tips and techniques. It gets more into all this product. If you have any questions, we break it all down and make it really easy. Tamara can go ahead and put that link in the um, bottom of the comments for you. So check out our YouTube page and you guys will see you tomorrow.